Hi, welcome to a RoboFlow training movie. In this movie, I will show you how you can create a workflow that can move uh, records and files to another catalog depending on a query. The extra challenge or problem uh, in this workflow was that the assets are vaulted and not just vaulted but exclusively vaulted so that means that each catalog has their own uh, source folder their own uh, vault folder and when moving files across from one record to another uh, in the target catalog the file needs to end up in the uh, target vault folder as well so in uh, the workflow you could do a hot collection workflow but in a hot collection workflow you have one query and then that means you have one solution one target catalog uh, in this example we are going to use a hot collection uh, sorry a hot folder in which we have created a little parameter file this parameter file is what I added to this uh, workflow has a query and based on the results of the query the target catalog is different and so here we see that any records with a certain status uh, have what we like in this example I'm taking the status field to check and an additional query if the date time is uh, valid what is very important is to make sure that your query searching for a date is valid for your installation this is easily checked in the cumulus uh, window uh, in the find window if you want to search on a date time field you just fill in an example and you go to advanced mode and you will see and i will clear it so that you can see the real result that is coming up you can see that it builds a query for you showing the date time format it is expecting this is the date time format that you need to use in roboflow you can remove this first ugly letter part called the unique uid um, um, but you have to keep the rest so what is this syntax saying you it's saying year month day then a t for time if you want to search on the time you can add the time and you can also search if it has to take in consideration what time zone you are in and so this uh, is what um, the query can do for you so very important to uh, verify that uh, query so if I search on uh, this it doesn't find anything because it says 2017 but I know I have something around uh, between Christmas and uh, New Year's Eve so I'm going to for 12 and let's say 27 and now I will find one record and if I do uh, the other way around I will find the other record so here we go careful to have a space there find and I find now the other record so that's uh, very important make sure that you have the valid query syntax I'm also using uh, the status field so here let's uh, look at the status field so I in my example said that this needs to be set to to move it's not a requirement for the workflow but it's just uh, an example and the other one as well so now both of them are set to uh, re as requested to be moved and then we're moving and moving them um, so here we go and I can cancel this so you see volt target volt catalog target volt catalog two and so uh, cancel and I didn't change anything so there is another uh, special parameter here which is hot folder delete file boolean um, I'm putting the parameter file in the hot folder why am I doing this a hot folder workflow executes files uh, it uh, processes whatever file it finds in the hot folder 
I wanted to do this list of queries. So I've put this list of queries in a parameter file and I've put that parameter file in my hot folder. That way, each time the workflow runs, it finds a file to process. I made sure it only picks up uh, TXT files. This is a TXT file and then it will execute it. But the default functionality of a hot folder is that after processing the file in the hot folder, it deletes it and you want to keep your parameter file. So that's where this special uh, parameter comes from. It says hot folder delete file boolean false. So this is an internal functionality that is in the documentation. Uh, you can find it in the help, but it basically tells the workflow never delete your hot file. Eh? Never delete the files in the hot folder. So that's what that does. Why do I have a temp folder? That's a technical thing I will uh, explain after uh, we did a little uh, execution of the workflow. So I'm saying uh, start. Oh, please also notice that uh, there are categories assigned to these uh, records. And so uh, they have categories assigned. And notice that at this point there are no categories in the target uh, catalog. There can be, doesn't matter. It will create it if they exist. It will just assign the, the records to their uh, categories. So let's run the workflow. Start. And if I do show log, I see that I the hot folder found a file param.txt and it starts processing then it opens the catalog it performs the query that we defined and the one that said over uh, or equals uh, 2016 uh, December 27th it found the blush uh, record uh, here this one and it has performed the action move record and file then since there was only one record found it it doesn't process any other records it just goes to the second line in your parameter file where it opens again the catalog don't forget in the workflow it closes it as well but here's just an example then it does a query and uh, it now looks for the records below that date and it uh, here goes to find one record it finds the hush record and it does a move record and file so if i now have a look in the catalog i can see that my two records have disappeared and in the target fold i have one with the categories assigned that were assigned before mouth is not here because that is assigned to the other one and so here if i go to this one and i can see also that it has now band-aid and mouth assigned mm -hmm. so it has nicely moved them and on top of that you can see that uh, each record is this one is in target in the catalog vault 2 so it has the vault 2 folder and this one is in the catalog vault and uh, target vault so it is in the target vault folder here you can see it so and that was the challenge in this uh, workflow because a normal move record functionality moves the record but since the catalog uh, since the process sees that it's already vaulted being in the source vault folder it doesn't touch the file but that is dangerous or, or incorrect inconsistent if you have a, a catalog set where it is always an exclusive you're expecting your files to be in the target vault catalog and not in the source vault catalog once they're moved to the target uh, catalog so that's what uh, we had to solve in this catalog and how did we do that as I said there is a simple action that says move record and that doesn't do it um, I have to first copy the file out of the vault to a local uh, location catalog the vault 
the uh, the file sorry catalog the file to the target catalog and in target catalog pick up the asset reference from that record then i did a copy of the record then i assigned the asset reference of the dummy record to the new record and then i deleted everything that i didn't need so a couple of steps um, to make sure that the vault record asset is actually in the vault here's how this looks like in the action script I start by storing the folder uh, the temp folder so making sure that it exists I store it as an object that it can be used I'm also reading uh, the parameter file uh, the workflow processes files it offers the first file the first file is that param.txt file it's the only file and for that particular file it then uh, automatically <coughs> reads this text file and stores it as a tab limited table uh, it's a tab limited file so it now stores it in a rows columns table uh, excel style then i'm processing each row and uh, something you might not know but you can get to the row element so when it's processing this row by row it has a variable called row of parameters which is an array and there is an instruction an action that says store column number four in this text variable um, which you can do but there's a shortcut and the shortcut is that you can just say row of parameters which is the name of that array that it is offering you in the workflow and then you can just specify the column number like this so it's a shortcut to get to the elements of an array here it's writing to the log and I'm gonna copy this I'm gonna add a little bit more functionality then I say I open the source catalog I'm writing to the catalog the query I'm about the, the log the query I'm about to perform I'm performing the find on the query on the rec on the catalog I output how many records I found and then I'm processing notice I open the source catalog and I close it uh, don't forget and then here in here I say okay which record do you want uh, or did it, did it find then I'm testing if it is the action that we should do that's the first column of my parameter file I just want to make sure that I'm using uh, the right instruction uh, should there ever be other instructions that you want this workflow to do then this is uh, just a nice way to add them later on I'm saying outputting what logging I do and now I also going to paste this and we have target catalog target catalog is parameter uh, 4 so I'm going to say here target catalog and don't forget that I'm also closing the target catalog but I'm going to say here uh, paste and I'm going to say that uh, target catalog catalog and that is row number four always document uh, your source code then I open the catalog I copy the record uh, the asset sorry of the source to the temp folder I catalog it in the new catalog I store the asset reference value which is the pointer to the vault in the new catalog then I copy the old record to the new catalog this doesn't do anything with the file so it's just a copy I'm setting in the new record the asset reference to the from the dummy record I delete the dummy record I delete the record in the old catalog and I delete the dummy file the test file in the temp, uh, the intermediate file in the temp folder then this was just an example I was setting the field value uh, but that's not necessary and then I can say close catalog of the target catalog so that's uh, how easy it is uh, to make a workflow but there were a few tricks to uh, keep in mind